Hey guys, welcome to Desk Logic. Uh, this is the seventh video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. So if you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to cover the uh, shape tool that is available in your toolbar section. Um, so let's tap on this shape icon. And here are four different kinds of shapes that are available. The square one, the circle one, the triangle, and the star. So let's start with the square one. So let's select it and start drawing. As you can see, I can move freely uh, in the uh, workspace uh, because I haven't tapped on the small circle on the uh, workspace. So if you tap on this, now this shape is uh, constrained. It's increasing and decreasing at the same time with same width and height. So, and if you tap and drag a little bit, it will be drawn from the center. So for now, I need just single constraint shape. Okay, now you can uh, change the color of the fill. For example, red. And uh, here we are with the square shape. So with the next one is the circle one. Let's tap on the small circle, start drawing, and this circle is constrained. The next one is the triangle. So let's select that, tap on this small circle, and start drawing. And here we go. We have a triangle. And in the same way, if we want the star, shape. Let's select that, tap on small circle and start drawing and here we have a star. So these are the four shapes that are available in the application. So guys, what more we can do with these shapes? Uh, there are some other options if you have selected the selection tool and tap on the square shape you can change the angle you can change the shape of the corners you can change the height and width of this square in the same way if you select the circle you can change the angle but it doesn't work in the case of a uh, circle. If you select the triangle, you can change the angle as well as you can change the height and width. You can change the shape of the corners. You can also add more edges to this triangle by tapping and dragging these arrows like that. And if you select the star shape, you can change the angle of the star. So, now if you select these shapes uh, with the direct selection tool, you can change the shape of the corners. If you select a specific corner, you can change the shape of that corner separately. If you select the circle with the direct selection tool, you can change the shape of the circle like that. Also, you can change the angle by tapping and dragging these handles. If you select the triangle with the direct selection tool, you can change the shape of the corners. 
or a specific corner. Also, if you select the star shape with the direct selection tool, you can change the shape of the edges or a specific corner like that. So guys, that's all for the... Uh, So guys, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.